Hello and thanks for joining. In this video we'll take a look at ER Studio support for Hadoop Hive. During the video you'll see me utilizing Hortonworks. However, you can use any of the third-party Hadoop implementations such as Hortonworks or Cloudera. You can also use a more vanilla implementation of Hadoop maybe based directly from the Apache Hadoop website. And during the video you'll see me create a data model by reverse engineering a Hadoop Hive set of tables and we'll also take a look at creating Hive tables and then forward engineering those to Hadoop Hive. Support for Hadoop Hive began with ER Studio XE6 and we'll get started by launching ER Studio Data Architect. We'll go to File, New, and Reverse Engineer. Choose the Native Direct Connection and Hive from the drop down here. So as you can see we're going to reverse engineer from Hive the same way we would reverse engineer from a relational database like SQL Server or Oracle. In this case I'm going to utilize the IP address but you can also use the host name for your Hadoop installation. Use Kerberos if you have that created. However uh, I do not have that so we'll just move forward. On page 2 we want to go ahead and select the database and objects that we want to reverse engineer. We'll stick with user tables. On page 3 we can be very specific as to which tables we want to pull in so if we want to remove a set of tables we can do so. We'll bring them all in. On page 4 you'll see some of these options grayed out because they're specific to relational databases but we can go ahead and infer domains and select a layout option and on page 5 you can choose whether it's going to be a relational or dimensional model. We'll go ahead and finish this at this point and in a moment you'll see both a logical model that is database independent and a physical model that is specific to Hadoop Hive created here in our diagram. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the properties of these tables that are specific to Hadoop Hive. For instance, let's open up the editor for publisher information. Double click on that. And let's go to the DDL. Real quickly, you can see for logo and for pub info, we have data types that are specific to Hadoop Hive, such as the map and the array data types here. Also, if we take a look at the storage tabs, you can see that this storage, these storage properties are very specific to Hadoop you won't won't find these same type of storage properties for Oracle or SQL Server or for any other database type of course. Now let's go ahead and click OK and let's talk about quickly creating some other tables for Hadoop Hive. Perhaps you want to go ahead and build some other tables so that you can write data to them from your Hadoop instance. So let's go ahead and drop down another table and uh, we'll go ahead and you know, this is actually a table it's not an entity since we're in the physical model and I could go into the editor and add my columns that way and modify this table how I'd like but what I'll do real quickly just because I want to create some tables very quickly is hold down shift and click on the table here and I can add some other columns here now by doing so I've created the DDL for this new table of course as you can see and now I have the ability to go ahead and forward engineer this if I'd like and execute that against my Hadoop Hive installation to again create this table one. I can invoke the DDL generation wizard in a number of ways one would be just right click on the physical model and select generate database and a DDL generation wizard for Hive 0.12 is launched here and as we step through this you can see I can choose to create the DDL for all of these tables that might be handy if you've added new columns to any of these tables uh, there's also generation options here on the right and you can go ahead and preview your SQL before you actually create it just to make sure that the options that you've selected are what you're looking for. 
are generating the DDL in a proper way. And once you've determined that they are, you can go ahead and finish this up. The product's going to launch its own SQL editor within the tool and you can go ahead and connect to Hive and execute this DDL. So what we've seen here is the easy way that ER Studio can reverse and forward engineer a Hadoop Hive instance. Thanks for joining.